So I volunteered to serve at the Veterans Administration Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, doing the traumatic brain injury screenings, the second level screenings. Since I had had my own traumatic brain injury, and since I'm trained in traumatic brain injury diagnosis and treatment, I thought it was a good fit. The third patient that I saw in the VA started me down this journey. And that was after you go through a 17 question screen from the VA, at the end of it you say, has anybody told you that you're acting differently? <laughs> to which I thought, if you're in a war zone, I hope somebody's telling you you're acting differently. You know, because I mean, you should be able to express that and get some assistance from the civilian world, which is 99% of the population and 99% of the resources. So I went through the different things that he was complaining about. He didn't really like to be in crowds and he had some isolation and when loud noises would go off, he would jump. And I said, you know, I have the exact same experience and I injured my head while putting up Christmas decorations. And the young man reached across the table, grabbed my wrist as hard as he could and said to me, so what you're telling me, doc, is I'm not crazy? That was the beginning of the Resurrecting Lives Foundation because I thought if only one of the 750,000 young men and women who are suffering from this injury feel that they're crazy because we aren't doing our job, we needed to do something about it. One of the things that uh, I was responsible for doing as a combat engineer is blowing up any munitions that was left behind either by the Iraqis or by the U.S. military. And so we did a lot of control blasts. And so I had a lot of blast exposure from us uh, just basically getting rid of a lot of our munitions. And uh, we also came across some bombs, some rockets, some RPGs, different explosives that if we didn't take care of these uh, munitions, the bad guys would use them against us. And so that was where a lot of my exposure came from. And then I did have a couple mortars land pretty close to me one time. Uh, we were coming back from the chow hall and a mortar came in and exploded about 50 feet from me. Uh, and then usually where one mortar happens, there's multiples. So I ran to look for the guys that I was with uh, and two more hit. So that's why if somebody with a traumatic brain injury, it's considered a lifelong illness that may need to be tweaked here and there, may need therapy here and there throughout the lifetime of the patient. And we're certainly hoping that our young veterans who are in their 20s the 30s will be able to live a great lifetime of 40 or 50 more years with the help of a properly diagnosed and properly treated TBI. Hence, we started the Resurrecting Lives Foundation. She put me through the Transcendental Meditation Program and I started having more energy. I started having more patience. Uh, I started being able to function at a higher level of energy. I was able to do more. I was able to be more. I was having better ideas. And that feeling was something that after dealing with so much frustration, finally having like a good day, it was just something I wanted to share with other folks. It literally brought me back to life.